Hi, it's Corrine for the Cut at Home Design team, and today we are making a Father's Day card. You saw a picture of the finished card, so I'm just going to walk you through how to make this. The first thing I'm going to do is go over the pieces that you need to cut. And I will have all of this again reiterated and listed on Cut at Home's blog, so check the description box for a link and you'll find a list of all the measurements on the blog. The first piece you're going to need, and I put it on a darker card base because when we put it together it'll be easier to see. This is going to be your base piece. It's five and a half by four and a quarter, which is the size of a standard A2 size card. And when we're done adhering our pieces to this, we will adhere this to a card base and that'll be um, the base of our card. So again, five and a half by four and a quarter. You're going to need a shirt piece that is five and a half by four and a half. You need to take the shirt piece that is five and a half by four and a half and cut off one and one quarter inch from one of the sides. When done, this is what you'll be left with. Then on the one and a quarter inch side, cut down one half inch off of that and this is what you'll be left with. So now we want to glue these two pieces to our base piece. I'm going to use wet adhesive. On, let's start with the shorter side because we're going to overlap the larger side over that. So on this one, you don't want to glue all the way up to the top. We're going to be folding it over. Here's my example. So you don't want to put glue all the way to the top. You can add a little glue later if you'd like. So I'm just going to add glue three quarters of the way up. And I am going to add it to the very bottom there. And I'm going to position this right to the left side of my card and adhere that down. and just go ahead and line it up with the left side. On this side, you can add glue to the entire height of the card and the bottom. And align that to the right side of the card. It will be overlapping slightly to your smaller piece. So press that down, make sure it's adhered well. Okay, now we want to take this piece and fold it over. So we're just going to roll that and adhere it down. I'm going to just kind of get it where I want. Just kind of press it in place. And I'm going to add my glue just to the tip of that and hold that down. I am also going to add a little bit of glue here. I don't want to go all the way up to the top because it looks better if it looks like the shirt is slightly open right here. So I just added a, a touch of glue right um, to this midsection there. Now the same thing on this. We want to, we want the points to meet right at the same place. So go ahead and fold this over. And now with this one, go ahead and press it down. Let it go over the edge flip it over and cut the excess that is hanging over. Just cut it straight using your card base as your guide. Okay, so now here we have the front of our card. I think I will go ahead and add a piece of, or a dot of glue right here, but I'm going to kind of roll this out a little. I don't want it perfectly straight. I, I want to give it a little bit of character. So I'm just adding a touch of glue right to that piece there and adhering that down all the way to the edge. You want it to go all the way to the edge. Hold that in place for a moment. And now if you want, you can go ahead and add a tiny bit of glue right here. Mine's actually pretty well glued down, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And there's our card base. For our bow, I am going to be using the envelope punch board. If you do not have an envelope punch board, I do have a video showing how to make a bow uh, by hand without using a punch board, so check the description box for that. You're going to need two pieces. You're going to need a piece that is 
again four by one inch and for the bow tie bottom piece you're going to need a piece that is two by one inch so for the four inch one you want to go ahead and place it at your two inch mark which is halfway and punch the notch out and this is what you will end up with go ahead and flip it all the way around do the exact same thing line it up at your two inch and punch it now the next thing we want to do is notch out partly these corners you don't want to do a full round corner we're just going to notch them out so we're going to take the corner find the very center piece the center or the middle of our punch board which there is a V going right there it's going to be right next to that this doesn't have to be perfect but it's easy to see just line it up right in the middle there and punch it okay and that's what it's going to give us flip it over do the exact same thing line it up in the middle punch it now we want to go ahead and do the same thing to the other side punch it flip it over and punch it okay so here's the starting of our bow for the bottom piece the bow tie we're just going to add this notch in the middle here so it matches up so this is a two by one so it's two inches long we want to put it halfway in which is at the one inch mark okay so here's my one inch mark on this side go ahead and place it in there and punch it flip it over do the exact same thing line it up at your one inch and punch so let me set this aside now for this the easiest way to put this together is by using either your scissors or a bone folder and just kind of crease the paper just kind of break up those fibers in the paper okay and then go ahead and add some glue right to the center and adhere these two sides down meeting in the middle and hold them there for a moment until the glue adheres okay and now we simply want to glue it to the center adding a little more glue and just holding it down in the center make sure yeah I have it perfectly centered you're going to just match up those two notches so once that's adhered well, um, you will need another piece. That, well, that's up to you. You can put something in the center like an enamel dot um, if you wanted to do that. Excuse my arm. Just to finish off your bow tie, whatever you want to do. But to wrap a piece around, you're going to need a matching piece of paper that is one quarter inch by one inch. So I'm going to just cut this to one inch. It's already at one quarter inch. Okay, so now again just add some glue to the center of your bow. Place this on approximately in the middle and then wrap it around and glue it down. So I'm going to wrap the top part first, adhere it down. and wrap the back part. I like to use a little clothespin or something to hold it in place while it's drying. But here is our bow. Here is another one that I made previously out of black. So these are super simple to make and quick. If, like I said, you don't own a, an envelope punch board, check out the description box for how you can make these similar just by hand. So I'm going to put the video in fast play. Check out Cut at Home's blog for all these measurements listed, and I'll have lots of photos to walk you through how to make this project. And I hope you enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment.